So after five days of racing in the Santos Tour Dan, and it all came down to the circuit race over 90 kilometers here in the center of the city of Adelaide. Two riders going head to head on the same time, nothing between them, only a count back on points. Simon Gerrans was given the ochre jersey to wear on this final day. Alessandro Valverde was his main challenger, but there were still surprises to come on this stage. Well, there certainly were, apart from a rip-roaring start with the riders covering uh, the first few laps at eight paces, approaching 50 kilometres an hour. One or two breakaways formed in the early few laps, but really it wasn't until lap 13 and Cam Meyer decided he was going to hot and stuff up. Yes, this was a reverse tactics we didn't plan, I have to say. Jan Bakerland attacked and he was in a position to win this race. He'd recouped all the time he'd lost over five days. Cam Meyer was with him and helping him go clear of the field. They were joined by the former World Under-23 champion and that was Roman Sikar. And at one stage, Paul, they gained virtually a minute. When he got up to that almost one minute margin, there were a few questions asked in the main field. Have Green Edge got it wrong on this occasion? To me, they looked in control all of the time because they knew over the final few laps of the race, the teams of the sprinters would slowly but surely start to bring it together. But then when we came down to uh, the final lap, all of a sudden there was an attack and we didn't expect this one to come from number one. No, apparently Cam Meyer told his race director, Matthew White, can I attack them? And uh, Matt White was saying, just stay calm at the moment. We need to control the whereabouts of Yang Bakerlands. Once the peloton was in striking distance, Meyer attacked at the base of Montefiore Hill, went clear, and he went through with one lap to go with a lead of 15 seconds. The fairy tale ends there because he didn't win the stage. It became a massive bunch sprint, and guess who won? Well, Lotto were doing a phenomenal job trying to make sure that they could get their man, Andre Greipel, to the front. Inside of the final lap, you didn't really see him until it came down to the last three or four hundred metres, but his team, they were phenomenal, and he was very happy to please, to, to please them with another victory. Three wins out of a possible six for Andre Greipel, but in two days, this is the man who lost 24 minutes in time in the hills, so obviously no chance overall. The overall result made good reading for the team Green Edge because they won the opening world tour of the 2012 season. Simon Gerrans, he won the first time in 2006, now adds 2012 for Green Edge. He takes out in the same time Alessandro Valverde, who's on the way back, and Tiago Machado taking third place. The best young rider was Rowan Dennis. He also won the King of the Mountains competition, so UniSA have found a new superstar there. This was a great race and it goes from strength to strength. South Australia really have this race now guaranteed for four more years minimum. It ain't going nowhere. This is his home in South Australia. Until the next time.